wake up one morning with 1,000 times the strength you had the night before. How will you handle delicate day-to-day -day tasks? Everything must seem so fragile to you since the scale of your strength has expanded 1,000 times. You'd have to be very careful when you're shaking someone's hand so you don't end up breaking their bones or crushing everyone you hug. <laughs> and using a fork to pick up a piece of broccoli from a styrofoam plate without driving the fork through the plate is going to be as difficult as brain surgery. Say the day comes and you get the chance to save a damsel in distress falling from a helicopter. So you hold out your arms hoping to catch her. Seconds later you will find yourself holding her lifeless body. What happened? Well. Pressure is force divided by area. The smaller the area, the bigger the pressure. This is why we can lift heavy objects without breaking our skin. But a tiny needle can make us bleed with just a little poke. <sniffs> Ow! The pressure that will be exerted on her body can be calculated by force, divided by the area on the top of your arms that comes in contact with her. It doesn't matter if your arms are strong enough to catch her body without breaking your bones. Her spine is not strong enough to be caught by you without being damaged. Even if you rip off the nearest door to provide a bigger area to catch her with, you still wouldn't be able to save her anyway. Oh. Remember, it's not the fall that kills her, but the sudden stop at the bottom. Let's say she's falling from a 32-story building about 300 feet and you are 6 feet tall, maybe 10 feet on your tippy toes with your arms above your head holding a door in hopes of distributing the pressure across a larger surface area. But all you're doing is essentially moving the ground up by 10 feet. So she's now falling from 290 feet instead of 300 feet, reaching the speed of 137 feet per second just before impact, not counting air resistance. It's the equivalent of crashing at 94 miles per hour into a wall with a door in front of it. Oh, ah, that doesn't feel good. The only thing that could save her is flying. But that power comes with its own host of scientific issues. If you could fly, what you must do is fly up to her. Start flying down at the speed she is falling, hold on to her, then gradually slow down until you come to a complete stop. <sighs> This process requires a lot of cushion space between the point she starts falling and the ground. Every second you waste on changing into your superhero costume and flying up to her height, her head is getting that much closer to the pavement. If she's falling from a high place and you can't get to her until she is only a few feet above the ground, there's really nothing you can do other than magically turn the pavement into marshmallow to allow her enough time to slowly come to a stop. Ooh! <laughs> oh. Then break out the chocolate and graham crackers, and you've got s'mores. Mmm, delicious. Now, which superpower physics lesson will you explore next? Shifting body size and content. Super speed. Flight. Super strength. Immortality. And... Invisibility.